Today's video is regarding Canon Pixima G3260 printer. I'm going to show you how to do the copy, print and scan. So let's start with the copy. So copy is very easy. We have two buttons here, black and color and we have to press it number of times we want the copies. Also to do a copy setting, we can go to the display panel or the control panel here. So this is the copy mode and it says how many copies we want you can change the number of copies from here now to do the setting we have to click on the menu so it will come here special copy enlarge you can enlarge the size or reduce the copy size intensity page size you can select from here media type print quality so there are many things you can do from here Open the top scanner lid and place a page for the copy here and press color button as I'm going to do the color copy. You can do the black as well. Now I'm going to show you how to do the scanning. You can do the scanning through the printer. For that you need to connect your printer using a printer cable to any device for example laptop or PC. Otherwise you can do the wireless scanning. For that connect this printer using the Wi-Fi network of your home or office to the device. For example I have connected with my iPhone. And if you want to know how to do that just simply go through the video I have already done on that. Open the Canon print app, place a page here facing downwards for the scanning. Go to the app, you will see the scan icon here, so click on it. You can change the settings from here, go back and click on the scan icon. We can do the multiple scannings here, so I'll show you how to do that. So you simply have to add more pages for the scanning. Here is the first scan and to scan the second page simply open the lid, place your second page facing downwards and you will see the scan button again so click on the scan. It will display the page too. Once you finish all the scanning, click on the exit button. Once you click on exit, you will see the scans available here. From here you can save it or share it. There is an icon here for the saving or sharing. And you can save it as a PDF or JPEG. So I'm going to use at a single document. So use as PDF. It will display the location you want to copy and save it. Save it to the files or save it or copy it wherever you want. Now to do a wireless printing you have to select any document. It doesn't matter if it's in the app or if it's an email. Once you open your document, you have to click on the next icon. And here you can change the setting. Now you can change all the settings you want. Once you are ready, click on the print button. So this way we can do the wireless printing and scanning and the copy using this printer. Thanks for watching.